So, PixelOS finally started rolling out their latest January 23 build for Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max devices. So, in this video, I'll be covering each and every topic related to this device, how this custom ROM is performing in this device. So, if you are a custom ROM lover for Sweet and switch in so you can watch this video and you can one, do one thing also you can subscribe to my channel for more info related to custom rom and any tech things that you can use in your device so let's get started so guys first of all this is the settings ui overlay and let's go to first of all about the phone and in the about the phone you can see that here is android 13 above here and you can see that it is android 13 version based and you can see that here is a beautiful Android 13 Easter egg. Uh, all as you can know that it provides better. What do you say? Feel of using it. We got a January 5th security update as you can see this with the latest Vantom kernel. And the Vantom kernel has always been a powerful kernel for this device. And the build number as you can see that it is made mention. Now let's move forward to talk about what which is new things being added. So talking about the system we are getting. So this is quick tap to start action and if you do generally do this and if you enable for the screenshot and it will take screenshot but in the accidental case it will create a lot of screenshot that you won't delete and this is a gesture navigation option you can see it from here just a navigation above there and apart from that nothing is more above there and double tap to check phone is been also there now let's move forward to talk about here is the languages and input support and there is the app language support let us see how much app language there is not much app language support is given so you can only change the app languages it's from these applications now let's move forward to talk about thermal profiles so i'll be covering the, uh, what kind of performance that these thermal profiles is giving out in this device in the later part of the video so watch until then so talking about the system already now let's move to ask about the system and network internet now i am connected with the wi-fi and haven't faced any issues so far and in the call reception and everything the proximity is also working fine no issues that you can face so far and hotspot is working fine many custom homes have issues that whenever you open a hotspot and it automatically turns off but it does not have any sort of issues now let's move forward to talk about what do you say sound and vibrations what we are getting on there we get the me sound enhancer but is it worth of it using or not let's talk in the later part of the video and here's get the haptic feedback option the haptic feedback of the room is next level you can can't imagine without using this room the haptic level feedback now let's move forward to talk about the applications and here you got the default tabs with a pixel launcher with no customizations all you know that pixel launcher does not provides any sort of customizations in this room now let's move forward to talk about the battery yeah i've been using this device almost one and a half day and you can see that there is my battery usage and i am happy with my battery usage i generally got of eight hours of sot in my usage case many people have another type of some of your gamers but this rom is not for gamers purpose you get the battery percentage option above here you can check that out battery percentage from here also without any issues and let's move forward to talk about the display display doesn't have many options but you can see that i am now on 60 hertz but you can't feel any sort of lag in this rom and device i am gen using without any issues but if i generally use force 120 hertz refresh rate or just select smooth display and now from here you can see that i am on 60 hertz without any lag so far and there is no lag that you can mention in this device so far 60 hertz without any lag and 120 hertz already we know that they doesn't have any lag now this is the full screen usage applications option you can customize according to your preference and here is the show data usage in qs panel you can use it according to you if i generally enable this and from here you can see that here you got this option so far now let's move forward to talk about what do you see lock screen in the lock screen you get the ambient display but you get also got the always on but i did not use always on on purpose because uh, my battery usage also does not consist of any always on display now let's move forward to talk about what we are getting in the wallpaper and style we are getting wallpaper style uh, many theme palettes you can arrange these theme palettes you can see that i have just changed it and it is quite a bit working fine you can enable themed icons and from here you can see that the themed icon is working fine and it is supporting and you get many 
theme palette support over there you can enable this green also green also looks cool and this is all for app grid you know already pixel os does not consist of many customizations it is generally mixture of pixel experience plus few add-on customizations now let's move forward to talk about accessibility if you get the extra dim option you can use according to your preference but uh, it is working fine all around pixel and this is the vibration haptic feedbacks against again given here so you can touch it and feel it what the performance that of haptic feedback that you are getting in this now this is all for this now let's move forward to see the what kind of benchmark we are getting so this is the benchmark section and you can see that i'm run in the 3d mark application this this is slingshot extreme test i have run two times with optimization profiles meanwhile thermal profiles with the benchmark mode on and without it so uh, this is the guys without any performance profile score 2835 and this with thermal profiles benchmark mode enable you can see that there is a slightly down score so i don't i do not going to recommend this any what do you say optimization profiles or thermal profiles in any device now let's move forward to talk about the safety net or and device certification from here you can see that device is certified in this room so you are not getting so far any issues in this room also and now let's see what are the hdr capabilities that we are getting so far in the netflix and app settings and there's a playback specification you can see that hdr 10 capabilities with a full hd playback resolution is being available in this device and this is the safety net status test i am currently running live right now on the video and you can see that the safety net is just passes so hooray those who are users banking apps for their few works now this is all for what you can get and also i have ran the geekbench scores and this room also consists of nx camera let me talk about in the later of the video in the history you can see that i am happy with the both single core and multi core score you can see that the multi core score is does pretty good and single core with not a single any profile mode now this is the nx camera that you are getting so far in this custom room and you can see that it is working all around fine and it is the latest nx camera you can see that here is a video in the video you are getting the 4k 30 fps support is also there and you can do record 4k videos in the pro mode you also getting this video options and 64 megapixel so it is been nice to see that there is all options portrait aperture mode is also there and more you can see that the log mode and 64 megapixel mode does 64 megapixel work or not let me help you to see i have just clicked the picture and let us open with uh, what do you say photos yeah the 64 megapixel support is also there and the size of photo is 20 mb so yeah nx camera is working fine you can do check out their nx camera now let's move forward to talk about in considerations of ram management yeah the RAM management does not have any issue sort of issues that I have faced so far. Everything opens flawlessly. No issues that you can face in this device so far. And each and every web uh, sustain in their memory. I am using my 6GB variant. You can also try if you have 8GB variant. It is best to use. Yeah, this ROM is all can be used in both Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max according to your preference and i have given all the things about these the battery charging is good you are 30, your 33 watt charging support is working fine so you can check out your 33 watt charging support so if you are really happy with my review then please subscribe without any issues and keep liking my videos and do a thumbs up to my video so thanks for watching my videos till then bye bye stay safe